what's up guys welcome to the pixel lab.net you guys doing good today I know I am ready to rock and roll so let's do this thing last time I talked about the color shader how to use that properly and today I'm going to show you how to use the multi shader so as you can see I have a 3d television very retro and awesome so I got this on TurboSquid.com. turbo squid is a fantastic place with just uh, models of everything you can think of um, usually they're pretty reasonably priced and they have uh, quite a few free ones actually and this TV was one of the free ones so uh, TurboSquid.com I'll put a link in there for you in the show notes as well as a link to this TV um, so yeah once I got this TV and um, just a note on TurboSquid um, not everything is Cinema 4D there's a lot of uh, 3DS Max on there but a lot of them offer .obj files um, which this one is and you can see that uh, you might have to do some retexturing but uh, the model comes in really nicely so I found this screen, which is this plane right here, and I named it screen. And we're going to go ahead and put a image on there. So we'll make a new texture, and we'll go ahead and in the color channel, we're going to load an image. So I have a bunch of images here. Uh, we'll go ahead and load this uh, Welcome to the Pixel Lab logo. All right, we'll put that in the color channel. And we'll go ahead and dump that on our screen. It looks terrible and uh, it's because it's projecting as spherical right now so we're going to put that as cubic and uh, as you can see we're going to need to do a little bit of tweaking so we're going to go ahead and make the uh, length a little bit longer and we'll offset it this way we'll just uh, tweak the settings a little bit and then we'll have to tweak the height as well so make it a little bit taller slide it down just got to play around with it a little bit getting close here all right, there we go. That's close enough. All right, so we're looking good. Got our Pixel Lab logo. Now we're going to take this TV and throw it into a cloner object. So MoGraph, hold down your Alter option, put in cloner. And we will do linear and we'll do uh, four count. And uh, let's see here. We want to position them on top of each other so that they're just sitting on top of each other. Something like that. There we go, and uh, let's rotate them so we have a little bit of interest here. Not that way. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of cool. All right, let's talk about the multi-shader. So if we want to get a different image on each of these televisions, we can do that by going in here and putting in a different texture because the cloner is referencing one model. So how are we going to get this done? Well, if we go into our texture and we go to MoGraph, multi-shader. You'll notice that it turned our, our uh, texture white and that's what it did with the color shader last time if you remember. So we're on to something here. If we go into our multi-shader you can see that there are two different shaders. Uh, the fir first one is preloaded already. So in our shader 2 we'll go ahead and load an image. Got a uh, nice Cinema 4D logo here. Um, and then we need four because we have four different monitors, right? So we're going to go ahead and click add and I think you can add infinite amount of these I'm not totally sure I haven't <laughs> haven't tried that but all right so for shader 3 we'll go ahead and load another image oops sorry I loaded color by accident load an image and we got, got a nice picture of uh, this guy right here all right and we'll do one more for the last TV load image and this is pretty awesome picture right here. This is uh, my wife sitting in the canoe that we bought recently and she's just testing it out on our grass. That's pretty awesome. All right, we got all four in here now. So if we hit render, they're all going to be the same. So you guys know what's going on here? Instead of color brightness on the mode, we need to change it to index ratio. After we switch it to index ratio, it's going to apply each of these in a systematic order to every clone. So if we hit render, there you go. Can't tell you how excited I was when I first figured this out to be able to make a cloner object with um, a specific image applied to each different one. Man, that's just awesome. All right, that is the multi shader for you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some information out of this. And uh, you know what? Thank you so much for your support of uh, the web launch and on Twitter and everything. You guys have been awesome. It's been just a really fun past few days for me. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about cranking out some more tutorials. Keep checking back. Uh, keep in touch, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.